Hello guys, what's up? Your host Overlord Tico here. How you guys doing today? Bring you guys some Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster Coliseum. I'm gonna go ahead and play this game from the start from the beginning so I can show you some of you guys how to play it. But I'm not gonna play it all like together, like one let's play. I'm gonna do like let's play in parts versus each different opponent in the game. So I'm gonna go into the campaign mode and I'm gonna start the game there. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this little pretty much walkthrough with commentary. Of course, it's going to be split up into like, you know, the parts playing each different person in the game. Welcome to the Capsule Monster Coliseum. You're just in time for the big tournament. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this. I really like this game. This game is a breed of like... Let's say like Duelist of the Roses and uh, Dungeon Dice Monsters. So it's, it is pretty good. It's just uh, it's, it's underestimated. It's it's uh, it's uh, it's very underrated. So hopefully you guys enjoy this game because uh, I really like this game. I wish more. Uh, this, this could be a good game for online because it's it's pretty balanced, you know. Like the capsules, don't, there's no magic or traffic card. The capsules themselves are just the monsters. And as they level up, they gain abilities. They gain like magic abilities, and those magic abilities are the ones that act as the uh, as the magic and trap cards in the game. So, pretty much that is how you play that game. <laughs> King of Capsule Monsters. All right. Anyway, so let's skip all that. So what I want to do is I'm going to split up these videos into parts. I'm going to split it up into a part for each different person you play in the game. So it's going to be like a full commentary, one after another. But I'm just gonna split it up into parts that way people can actually follow up easier. Cause some people find it hard to if you make a big let's play, you know, it's not a this is not like an adventure game. It's like a game by levels pretty much. And each level, each person you beat is gonna take you 15 to 20 minutes. So I'll split it up into 15 to 20 minute parts. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my name over Lord. Tico. There we go. I always choose to build a custom, uh, custom deck, custom kit, cause uh, I don't like the ones that they give you to buy. I'm gonna choose the wind element, which should be this one right here. Yep. And I'm going to choose this one, this thing over here, the one that has like a wind, whirlwind around it. And for the color, I'm going to choose blue. Or er, green, green. I like, I like green. Green is a pretty good color. <laughs> now you get to choose this. I don't worry about this right here because this only matters the, the, I don't know, pressure points or whatever it's called. I don't remember right now. It's pretty much when you get hit. That's your that's your your symbol's life. So whenever your symbol gets hit, you pretty much your deck leader gets hit, which is your symbol. That's what those points count for. But I never let it get to that point in the game, so it doesn't matter. So let me increase the action points. This is how many points you can use to move your pieces during during the turn. So I'm gonna put this to up to I'm gonna put 150 points into here. There we go. I'm gonna put 50 points up here into the monster points. Monster points is what you use to to choose your pieces in battle, and the action points is what you choose. If what is the points you use whenever you do actions with them in battle? So before you choose, before you start a battle, you always gotta pick the monsters you're gonna use. So pretty much that's that's what this is for. Monster points and action points. Ba -da, ba -da 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 -da. So pretty much your max monster points is what limits what uh what do you call it? It's what limits how many strong monsters you can put into battle. Cause some monsters got like a hundred monster points, another uh, got might have two hundred, and if you only got like six hundred points total, then that means that you put a lot of weak ones that way that you can actually have more. Cause for example, let's say your opponent has six monsters and then you only allow 600 monster points if you pick three monsters that are 200 monster points you're doing three monsters against against six even if your monsters are strong sometimes the numbers count so you want to kind of make it like kind of even you know right here he's explaining what beats what earth beats thunder thunder beats light 
Wood beats wind, wind beats water, water beats fire, fire beats wood. I know all the elements, so I just pretty much said it right there. If you remember these relationships, it will, it will increase your chances for victory. So blah 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 the rest is up to you. So now he lets me buy the monsters. One thing I want to explain here is that it's important to have a monster that can attack two spaces. Because a monster that can attack two spaces is, is, is a very good monster. It's a monster that will not get hit as much. So Karibo is one of those monsters that we want to get. I usually don't choose the monsters that got an attack, rate, an, an attack ratio, an attack radius that's a square around you because it's kind of weird. And you always want to pick the Exodia pieces every time you, find, every time you see one. We don't want to pick any of these. Actually, we want to pick this one, the mechanical slate and snail. Hopefully, I got enough points for that. Let's see these copper thingies. I think the root water is also is also pretty good. The earth ones they don't got a lot of anything. All right, let's see here. Petite moth. The dragon. This one. We want to pick two of these and one of these. And one of these, and uh, I'm not sure if I want to get that baby dragon. Let's see, what's his attack points? Attack points, AP is 83, this is 55, and this is 27. Action points, the attack points is 121, 125, 127, 130. That's pretty good. But if I pick that, then I'll be a little short in points. But I'm not gonna pick that. So I'm gonna pick. Let's see. I'm gonna pick this. Let's see if there's anything else I can buy with 25 points. Is there anything else that I can get with 25 points in the starter thing? I can get a petite moth with 25 points. Ah, oh, you have to keep buying monsters until you have at least 10. Well, I don't got any more points, dude. All right. I guess I got something that costs too much. It's probably a mechanical snail. Or the dragon, the wicked dragon with the Earthside set. So I can get two things instead of that. I'm gonna get the one steel scorpion. I will get one. I don't know if I wanna get one Escalangel. I'm gonna get one Escalangel. And I need something with 40 points. I will get the. How about I get the root water? Instead of Escalade, y'all, I'm gonna get the root water and see. Nah. I don't got enough points for it. That's so lame. Two of those, two of those, one of these. I'm gonna get the man eater then. Alright, dude. You, you already said it. I can't get the the mechanical snail, so. I gotta get two of something else. Let's see here. I'm gonna get one Skelangel. And I will get one. Damn. Too bad I can't get that. I wanted it so badly. I guess I can just get two other monsters. I don't know if I wanna get that. No, this monster moves weird. Hanewa. 62 points I will be left with 31 all right I'm guess I'm gonna get the root water and I will go down here and get me the petite moth there we go I got it I got 11 now <laughs> I got 11 monsters sorry that took so long guys it's a in the beginning it's, it's tricky whatever you want to get and you want to get a good like assortment of monsters a good assortment of capsules you don't want to get anything that's too what do you call it too standard if you, but in the first stage, I mean, Yo-Yo only has fire monsters, so one, the root water alone should be enough. So, yeah, that's all about that. Overlord Tico will explain everything now. You know what's funny? I had my ear infection like a couple weeks ago, but I still can't hear, can't hear well out of my left ear. That's kind of sucks. So, I don't know about that. 
Hey, Joey. Duke, I've been waiting for it. Joey. The one and only. The one and only. And don't think I'm going to take it easy on you just because, because you're my friend. I'm not holding anything back. Then let's get started, Joey. I love the voices in this game. Alright, so here we pick a random card, and whatever card we pick, the numbers, whoever has the highest number, shoots us who goes first or second. I don't care, really. In this game, it doesn't really matter for me. It's like, what do you call it? Not important. I think he brings out four capsules. Yep, four capsules. They're all fire reapers. They can move two spaces and attack two spaces. And a straight cross line. So now it's our turn, and they tell us that what? the monster points are what we need to summon the monsters. So as you guys can see, each monster point is right there under where it says MP. And we only got 270 uh, monster points total. So, so we got to pick carefully. I'll pick both of these because these are pretty low. I always pick the Karibo. And we can still pick three more monsters. As you said, the maximum deployment is six, so we can only pick three more monsters. Uh, that root water will do well. Uh, I don't know if the Exodia thing will do well. And darks, that, mm, I don't know. Let's see, we'll take that off. What if I want to put this? I can't put that, <laughs> it's too much. Alright. I'll pick that one skill angel and I will pick the, what do you call it, the electric scorpion, thunder scorpion thing. Alright, usually whenever I start, I just pick like a random place. I pick like the other outmost corner, and then I pick random placement. Because I don't really care where they end up, you know. Alright, so I got my six monsters right there. All right, so time to skip all this talking. All right. As you see, each piece has the action points. Let me show you guys. I see it says action points right there. I mean, that pretty much means to summon the monster out of the capsule. It costs you 30 action points. And press start so you can see everything. And press triangle so you can see if we're a little bit further away. This is 72 to summon. This is 30. 27, 50, 27. So I'm gonna start summoning. Now, as you see, every time you summon, your max goes up. So for the next turn, I'll have a max of 272 action points to summon. I'm leaving that water monster for last because the water monsters don't want the highest points. As I said before, numbers count, not power. Especially early in the game. The spaces that are green, as you guys can see, those spaces that are those green squares, those are places you cannot reach. Places your capsules can't walk into. Alright. As you see, it increased to max. The max now is 300. Each stage has like a different max, so... Now you guys know that. <laughs> Alright, so let's start moving these guys out. One thing I want to show you guys. As you guys can see right here, it tells my it tells my my the space where I'm at. And it tells the advantage and disadvantage. For example, for this capsule, light is the advantage. It kills it kills light because light he's thunder, so thunder kills light. But then he's as he's thunder, uh earth kills it. So if he goes into like a space that has like that's mostly made of rock. Let me see if I can show you guys real quick. Let's see if I can... Actually, there we go. Let me look at it like this. Let's see if I can... There we go. You press square on it and it tells you what the, it tells you what the landform is. As you guys can see, five is uh, half and half. Pretty much it's saying that, what do you call it? With rock monsters will gain five points here. And wood monster will gain five points here. Right here is water, twenty-five points of water. So water monsters will get a lot stronger here. 
So that's pretty important to know. So let me move this guy out. <laughs> Alright, let's move him over there. His ability to decrease. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. And he's pretty much saying what I just told you guys. So pretty much this first video is going to be a tutorial. Let's move it over here. The main reason why, one thing I'm going to tell you right now. The strongest monsters in this game are the wind monsters. Not in attack points. The, mo the strongest monsters in attack points are the, what do you call it? Strongest monsters in attack points are the fire monsters because it's a fire. Fire is strong. But wind is better because wind is the second strongest in attack power. And being that is wind, it gains, it gains uh, extra attack attack strength, attack points from any any place it's at because you know wind is all around us. So so wind is almost favorable in every stage. In every stage, wind in any space they walk into, they usually gain a little bit of points. Sometimes four, sometimes they make even an extra fifty points in attack. So that's something important to keep in mind. So let's see. We want to stay up to two spaces away from each one of these guys. As you guys can see, they can attack two spaces. They can move two and attack two. So that means four spaces ahead. As you guys can see. So you got to keep that in mind. They will move here and then attack you two spaces. So if you put, get your capsule there and leave it there and l let them go on their turn, they're going to move to this space and attack you here. So you got to keep that in mind. You know, you got to kind of like count. Counting is important in this game. All right. And move this guy over here. Let me move this capsule over here. Let me move the water capsule over here. Light and thunder. Then you just clicking anywhere what you want with X and you go to your next turn. You say end turn and it goes to the next turn. I think the place is now gonna switch to water after he ends his turn. Alright, let's see here. Yep. And every station, like after you play for a little bit, after a few turns, something happens. Something in the environment happens. And it changes how the place how the place looks. So and when the environment changes, you know the power-ups change. So now everything's more this can't happen but now everything's more favorable to water so as you guys can see now the more bigger part of the stage is water so that means that Joey's gonna have a bad time if we wait a few more turns he's gonna everything is gonna turn even more to water because I've played this stage a million times since the first station again so yeah that's all I wanted to say about that <laughs> all right time to stop talking All right, let's see here. One, two, three, four. All right, so I'm I'm safe if I move here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so I'm safe if I move here. Let's see. One, two, three, four. All right, so I'm gonna move it right here. And um, let's see here. I'm gonna move this one here because this one can attack diagonal like this. This one, I'm gonna move it here. This one can attack long range. I'm gonna move this one over here. As you can see, I'm trying to anticipate what they're doing. I'm trying not to move ahead too much. And after this video, every every other video is gonna be a lot faster because I'm not gonna try and explain anything that much. You know, I'm gonna try to blitz through everything as fast as I can because you know this is like a small tutorial <laughs> in other words these guys got a lot of attack point maybe I want to bait him to attack let's see his defense is only 10 points let me move the water over here Let me move this light over here. There we go. 
this thunder can move here? No, because if he moves here, he's going to attack the thunder. Two spaces. I'm going to move the thunder over here. This Garibo. I can move him over here, then he will move here. And then my pieces could attack him, but no. I'm going to keep the Garibo right here. Let me check Kuribo's movement real quick. Kuribo attacks like this in a straight line. Meaning that if I put it here, then Kuribo could go here. Alright, okay, I can put it right here. One, two, three, four. Actually, I didn't even notice he moved forward. He might move all the way over here. If he moves all the way over here, he can attack over here. Or attack over here and then these two next turn they can attack him actually he's gonna move all the way over here and attack two spaces all right I'm gonna move ahead over here I'm gonna move over here and um, that's it I'm gonna do anything else pretty much I'm trying I'm, I'm trying to bait out his attack to kill that one monster that one capsule two spaces and attacks that one capsule i'm in the water so and we can see the little animation Win it quick and slick. That's my motto. we don't have to listen to him anymore <laughs> and we can turn off the animations with l1 or r1 and one when the battle's about to start the moment a, ca uh, a card chooses to, uh, capsule chooses to attack another capsule, you can press L1 or R1, and you can choose to like exit it or not. You know. So yeah, I dealt a lot of damage. My monster's not beaten yet. Now this one gets attacked, but he's in water, so he becomes a lot weaker. As you guys can see, this one only does 105 instead of 122. See, I wasn't too worried about this one because he would have to get into the water. I didn't think he was going to do it, but I guess he did, so it's no big deal. That just means that it's easier for me. I can take advantage of this now. Alright, so this one moves two points ahead. Now the place turns even more into water. Poor Joey. Now those two are floating, as you guys can see. As you guys can see, this is my water capsule right here. Let's see. Let's see, this Karibo can move right here. And attack. This capsule. Actually, I want to do something first. I want to have this one attack first. Yep. This one right here can attack first. This one can attack this one. That's 96 damage. I'm going to take off the battle because I don't want to see it. It's got 78 points left. This one can move one space forward. And attack this capsule as well. Destroys it. Gains another 20 points of experience. Then this Droll Bird right here can attack this one. Hit it for 131 damage. Almost killing it. This Karibo can move over here. Mm. I was wondering. I think that Droll Bird's going to die. Probably. Yep. He's going to die. Unless. Nah, I don't think I want to get all the way back there. 
Oh well, the drill birds said I don't. They were the things I least cared about. Oh well. I'm gonna move this over here and kill it. All right. Now this drill bird could attack this one over here, but then he will get killed by this over here. Let me see how much points to damage I would do. Not enough. Let's move this over here. Let's move this over here. Now this droll bird right here is gonna die. And now he's gonna attack this Grebo. So we don't care about that. I knew one droll bird was gonna die. Because I used them as a sacrifice pretty much. I used them as bait. <laughs> You know, you gotta be smart like that. You gotta use something as bait. If you don't use if you don't have any bait, then the opponent's never gonna They're never gonna attack. The computer thinks just like I do. Because I've noticed that about this computer. They don't attack unless they know how they, they, they can have the advantage. Right, so this draw bird's gonna die. I knew that already. That's why I didn't attack with that's that's why that draw bird wasn't the the one to kill the monster. You always want to have the the piece that you want to keep be the one that kills the other pieces. That way, it gains the most experience out of it. That's why I didn't have the draw birds be the second one to attack every time they attack, because I wouldn't want them to gain any experience. I wanted the other one to gain the experience, because I knew they were one of them was gonna die. So, let's see if I can kill this guy one hit, cause I'm water. Ah, oh, sucks. Wait, which was the one that gained the experience out of these two? This one has... I can't remember. Let me see, how much experience has he got? I don't, this one only got two, so this one was the one who did it. This one's got 20 experience. Next level, 80 experience. What's... Shut up, dude. I don't care. Who do you think you are? Alright, let's move this here real quick. Let's attack this buddy. Tag him real quick. And then Root Water attacks this guy, weakens him a lot. Then Kuribo will attack that one, and uh, Scorpion will attack the other one. And that will be the game. Alright, Steel Scorpion. I always think about Thunder Scorpion. Why do I think Thunder Scorpion? This will finish you! That's what Yugi says every time he's about to kill somebody. Ah, it's all over! Over the Tico wins! Lost, Yugi. But Joey, you fought valiantly. <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. Maybe that's why I don't feel that bad that I lost. Shut up, Joey. Now you, don't you be losing any other duels, all right? Shut course, up. I won't let you down. Shut up. How dare you speak to me that way? And now another thing is another thing I gotta explain. Every time you win, you get points and you get experience. So your pieces that are still left alive get get an extra experience at the end of the at the end of the match. So let's see. So I got 20 experience for all of them. One thing that I wanted to tell you was like, for example, if one of your pieces that you're trying to get a lot of experience for dies, it loses all the experiences gained throughout that level. So if a piece is level level three and it's, it has like 90 experience, it only needs 10 more to reach level four. If it dies, it's gonna go back to level. It's gonna stay level three, but it's gonna have zero experience going into level four. So you gotta keep that in mind. So the pieces that you want to keep, 
make sure that you want to keep them make sure they're, they're the ones not to die so if you got a piece with a lot of experience make sure to keep it alive because you, you're gonna lose that experience if it dies hey yugi what's wrong joey there's something i forgot to tell you about this tournament there are five opponents in each area blah 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 blah, blah. we don't need to we don't need to defeat them all once you clear four areas that means 20 opponents the last place will appear yeah new path pretty much that's what i'm saying but anyways yeah as you guys notice whenever a duel ends whatever pieces you killed from the opponent you can keep them so you can either there are two ways to win a duel you can either go straight to their symbol and attack their symbol and beat them or you can kill other pieces and win i always choose killing the pieces because if you don't if you attack the symbol and you don't kill the pieces you win but you don't get to pick the you don't get to pick to pick it to keep any pieces because you didn't kill any you can you only get to keep the pieces you killed and you can only keep two or three it depends you know at the beginning you can only keep two later on you'll be able to, you'll be able to keep three pieces from the opponent so whatever piece you want to keep you make sure to, that you you kill it also whatever experience their pieces gain during your battle during their battle against you that experience stays with that piece whenever you keep whenever you take it from them so there's some, some little things that you guys should know about this game so let me go ahead and save it real quick as you guys can see, I got three files here. <laughs> They're all the same. I'm gonna go ahead and overwrite both of these with the name Overdoor Tico. And I am going to go ahead and show you guys what's next, and then I'm gonna stop. Because, like I said, I'm gonna divide this into parts. So, hopefully, do you enjoyed this dual slash tutorial slash beginning of the game thing? You know, over Lord Tico will, under Lord Tico. I was trying to, you know, explain to you guys how it works. Uh, I am tired. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so now we got the next person appeared. And this is Tristan Taylor. But, since the tutorial is not done yet, we want to go back. And the reason we want to go back is we want to go to the entrance hall. The entrance hall is where we organize all our shoot so we can go to manage monsters let me go in there real quick actually no let me go back this guy's gonna give me an explanation now oh okay he didn't i thought my grandpa was gonna tell give me an explanation about managing my monsters all right now he's gonna appear he's gonna be like oh i'm the shop owner ha 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 what would you like to do oh, i guess he didn't do it Anyways, so now we got everything that we can buy here again. And now we got more money. So we got 219 plus all the pieces we already got. Plus all the capsules we, we got from the, that duel. Those two. What do you call it? Let's see, see this. I got to buy that. Because that has two attacking spaces. Anything that has two spaces to attack is, is pretty good. Except this. This, this, this never becomes that good. It's kind of overpriced. And the the MP the mana points monster points is is kind of is kind of high. Karibo, if you level up Karibo to at least level five, it's just it's way better than this and with, with a lot lower cost. It's very important to level up a lot of weak monsters, weak monsters that can become stronger like Karibo or the Fire Reaper that, that we got from Joey. Those monsters, if you level them up, they become really strong. Even though they're, they're even though they're weak right now, they become super strong. Stronger than, the, than like a level four strong a capsule that already starts up strong. So they become like a strong cheap monster, cheap capsule that you can use. So you want to level up weak monsters like that. So let me see if there's anything with two two attacking points. Oh yeah, this dragon. Ah, come on, are you serious? What did I get? I only got this mechanical snail. Ah, I only got 219 points. Ah, what up? That's some BS. Thunder monsters I don't care much about. I could get one of no, I can't get I can't even get that. I don't got enough points for it. Alright, anyways, we don't we don't care about this. Let's just press start and click to buy it. What would you like to do? Press circle to go back. Go to manage monsters. That way I can end this tutorial right here and go and actually start speeding up the gameplay with the next part. Alright, so we're gonna go to build unit. In the monster collection, you can see each monster that you have for each uh, type. 
So these are all the light monsters. As you can see, this game doesn't have a lot, but it is pretty interesting still. So as you guys can see, we don't got that many for each one. We're lacking. <laughs> Alright, let's go to build unit. As you guys can see, we got five pages. And anything you win automatically goes into your slots. Now, whenever you win enough things that everything becomes full, everything else you're gonna win is gonna go into your is gonna go into your into your what do you call it? Into your pool of cards that you haven't used, as you guys can see right here. Into your extra pool. Because these are this is your deck, this is your actual deck that you can pick out from before you start the battle. And you get that in there? But when you get when you get your full deck full, your 50 slots full, then everything else is gonna go into the extra into the extra deck. Everything else is just left over. Also, another thing is whenever a capsule dies in battle, right here, you can't use it in the next duel. And then after the next duel, every every capsule that was dead at that duel, for example, this duel, a capsule died. That means the ne this next duel against Tristan, we can't use it. But the next duel after that is going to come back to life, and we're going to be able to use it. So, you guys got to remember that. Oh, I don't remember. What was I thinking about the experience? I would lose the experience. This guy still got the two experience. If I was mistaken, maybe I was thinking of a different game. Well, I think you still lose some experience. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't played this game in a while. Maybe I'm giving you guys false information. Strange. Anyways. We got that. Um, taken care of. So let me go back and zero exit. And uh, we'll save the game once more. Let me see the configuration. And save data. And if we ever want to go back to the, what do you call it, the title screen, the option is right there. So as you guys can see right here, if we ever want to go back to the title screen, we can just click right there. If we want to go back into the actual game to pick the next place, we can just press circle and exit it. And that is for that tutorial slash beginning of the game thing explanation that I just did and how to, how to calculate you know your opponent's move and such you know it's kind of weird but you guys will get it and of course sacrifices will be made <laughs> all right thank you guys for watching this video the next one will be against tristan taylor